What is up, tribes, and welcome back to the tribe. I first want to say thank you to all of my new tribe members who have joined into this big, beautiful, melanated tribe. If you have not joined into this big, beautiful, melanated tribe, I'm going to need you to go over here, hit that little red subscribe button, and join into all of this tribalness that we have got going on over here. Psych! <laughs> no, your eyes are not deceiving you playing tricks on you none of that okay this is what it is this is what I have done if you watched watched my um, watch day video you would know at the end of the video I asked you guys what is it that I want to do with my hair next what is it you guys vote you guys tell me either you leave a blue heart for a twist out or you leave a red heart for a wash and go now I had it in my mind to do a wash and go anyway so when the majority was like a wash and go type of situation I was very excited because I did want to do a twist out for a few reasons I find that my twist outs get a lot frizzier only because there's nothing holding it um, holding my curls together it's just you know um, pretty just like stretching them out and with the wash and go I was able to put my flaxseed gel all throughout my hair to make these amazing wonderful curls now the back of my hair it tends to shrink up a lot more and as you can see it's a little shorter and then also the back of my hair uh, when I first started my natural hair journey um, I was in the the process of getting the back of my hair trimmed and then I stopped her like midway so that's why the back is shorter also um, but yeah this is what it looks like um i did get a little flaking i've not let's say i've never done a wash and go before okay i've never done a wash and go and put product in my hair um so basically what i did was put shea butter my shea butter mix and then i applied the flaxseed gel but what happened is i think that um, i put too much uh shea butter and the flaxseed gel didn't like mesh together but what I should have done is use my white shea butter and not the yellow one. But like I told you guys in a previous video, I have the yellow one and I wanted to just use it up and get it out of the way. So I'm going to try to combat this, uh, see what I can do um, to try, kind of get like the flakiness out of it. Quick intermission. Okay, so I just woke up, got a shower, did all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I think I pretty much... I'm solving the issue of the flaking so basically what I did last night is I went through my hair with my aloe vera juice I put castor oil on my hair and then I put the flaxseed gel on my hair just like I do my twist and lo and behold it helped a whole lot um I just finished diffusing it so some is still a little wet so that's not dry and a couple pieces over here aren't dry either um but yeah that really helps a lot um, so over the next couple days I'm just gonna keep repeating the process and um, yeah I think I think I found a winner but anyway back to the show I feel like a lionist okay and I got a couple of side eyes today like is that fake or is it real and it's super hot okay so yeah this is what it looks like and um basically after I washed my hair um, in my twist I sprayed it down with aloe vera and I coated it with cat I mean not castor oil with um, olive oil oh let's 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 rewind a little bit I washed my hair with soap nut okay so that's what I did I washed my hair with soap nut I'll show you guys what soap nut looks like right here. Um, basically, you boil them and it becomes a natural shampoo with like a natural setting effect. So after I did that, like I said, I just uh, sprayed it in my scalp. Um, I in the sections down or the twist down one by one, detangling it, putting on my shea butter, and then applying the flaxseed gel all over my hair and let me tell you it took I started at one 
and I didn't get done until one o'clock in the morning. Oh, so one to one, right? So it was like 12 hours. Um, it took me a really long time. My back was hurting. I was getting like, oh my God, I just want this to end because I've never done it before. Um, and I bought this diffuser. Hey, can you bring me the diffuser out the bathroom? The my diffuser, can you can you bring it out the bathroom? Please. So I bought this diffuser from Bedhead and um yeah let me show you how it looks. Talk about it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I got it off of Amazon for 30 bucks. Yeah, it was like 29 plus tax. It was like 30 33 bucks plus tax and everything. It's really oily too. I should probably clean it. <laughs> um but as you can see it's flat, it works great, you just do this. Um, I was really looking for one that had a cool setting and this one has a cool, a warm and a hot and it has a cool shot button and it's low, medium and a high setting. Um, yeah, and I thought it was perfect. So it was short enough to get all up in my roots, but not to disturb uh, my curls. So. Pretty much by the time I got to this side of my head, this side was completely dry already on its own because I used very minimal water and I used a lot of the flaxseed gel and flaxseed gel dries relatively quick. So it was pretty, it was pretty good. It was perfect. Um, so I just diffused maybe for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And then I tied my hair up in a scarf, um, just my hair going all back in a satin scarf. And I woke up, it was a little damp, like in the mid, like midway through my, my strands. So I just took it and just went like this with the cool shot. And, uh, and that was it. And I walked outside, shook it out a little bit, diffused it on low again and on cool. And um, yeah, this, let me bring all of it to the front. <laughs> okay, and this is, this is what it looks like. This is a wash and go for me. This is, yeah. And then, um, yeah, that was pretty much all I did. It's super, super full. Oh my God, I'm burning up right now. It is so hot outside. It's so hot. Um, but yeah, so I love it. I really do. I... I'm trying to figure out a way how to really take care of my hair um, when it's not in twist because look a lot of you in my last video were saying or my, my Ayurvedic hair butter was like oh this isn't simple or what happened just to your simple routine and yada yada this and my own journey I'm like okay well first let's let's clear this your journey is your journey Okay, your journey is your journey. It's nobody else's. I can't grow your hair for you. I can just give you the tools and the knowledge that helped me grow my hair. I can give them to you and hope that you do something good with them, tweak them, take what you need, leave what you don't. It's one of those things, okay? I've already reached my goal. I've reached beyond my goal. Now it's just seeing where my hair can grow for pure amusement and you know just the love of my hair, right? Because that's what I say first love it just you love your hair you love your journey you embrace it nobody else's journey is yours but yours right so be, that being said uh continuing on another journey of my natural hair and a journey that's new and a journey that you guys will see is taking care of my hair 
while my hair is loose all right so that's gonna be the thing now am i still gonna be completely simple yes am i still gonna be completely natural of course because i don't know how to be anything but that okay and it may be a trial and error just like this with trial and error and you know i have flakes and stuff going on but i'm gonna try to combat that right now and when I figure out how to do that, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to share that with you guys. So maybe that will spark an interest in you guys or, you know, spark an idea that you guys can incorporate into your own routine, right? So now this whole journey is going to be retaining, okay? We're going to be retaining our hair while our hair is out. And I'm still going to be, do, be doing protective styling. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the, you know, the smaller twist for a while because, like I said, I want to enjoy my hair now um but that'll be a really cool element now to you know um share with you guys how to retain your hair while you're wearing your hair loose and how to you know well, you guys already know how I retain my hair when you know my hair was in twist I just wore my hair in twist um but yeah my goal has been met and now I can't wait to see how much more length I can retain and the proper way of retaining your hair um, while you're not necessarily protective styling right that's going to be really really interesting uh yeah all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and actually it wasn't really that quick but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them down in the description box below i uh, will see you guys in the next video i love you don't forget to rate comment and join into the tribe until next time Bye. Yeah,